off the beaten path. You've arrived. <laughs> Forest. It's in Ocala, um, and there's a nice little trail that's not really. It's just long and flat, but you can get a good exercise in. And uh, so it's not really good for video for the trail. But I figured I'd bring my car out because it is kind of off road to get to the trailhead. Um, do like a little build breakdown. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool little trail, a little off the beaten path. You've arrived. I've had some questions on this Subaru too. Yeah, this is Paisley. We might get rained out. It's looking kind of gloomy, but there's spots that look pretty good. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys what I've done to it. Uh, answer some of your questions from uh, mostly from Facebook. And uh, I had a question about it. Actually, one of my biking mountain biking videos. I think it was my Orlando mountain bike park video. Uh, somebody had saw it and were like, "That's a really dope Subaru," and asked me like, "What lift kit I had? How does it do off road?" That kind of thing. So I figured I'd kind of go through it. I haven't done it. It's been a while since I posted that video. So I do apologize for not getting back to you so soon with another video. But uh, yeah, at least better late than never, right? So this is the Subaru. But before we start, I got to take a piss. Yeah, it's been raining really badly in Florida lately. So it's just been all the good trails are underwater right now. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Gosh, he's pretty. Look at that. We'll start with the car. It's a 2015 Subaru Outback 2.5i base model. So it's bare bones, cheapest you could get. Um, but I did upgrade a few things. So essentially, I added the fog lights, the factory fog lights. Don't come on the base model. They only come on the premium or, or higher. I went ahead and added that. It's a really cheap kit you can get. I think it's like 50 bucks and you can get the two fog lights, the switch and the relay all come in the kit uh, if I remember correctly. Other than that, you do get like the non-painted mirrors on the side because it's a base model. If you get anything higher, it'll be painted to color match with your rest of your body. Um, at 2.5i, uh, CVT automatic. It's been all right. I have people ask me questions about the CVT and what my experience is with it. As far as the Subaru is concerned, I feel like it does pretty good. I don't know about other CVTs and how they perform, but it feels pretty good, especially off-road. It did a little better than I, su it surprised me, I guess. I did add these, uh, these like wind deflectors. It's got the factory tint. Um, I got it, the car like that. It was tinted on the, the side glasses. Um, other things I've added are these little tow hooks. So these are little tow hooks, they, um, factory tow hook and then I drilled a little hole on this little plate um, that way I can tow tighten that in there it's a little loose <laughs> all right hopefully no one was trying to take that off <laughs> but uh yeah and then I just got these little hooks with these rubber stoppers to keep it from like moving around too much um, these are really nice I haven't had to use them yet but if I ever need to uh, it's nice to have uh, I got the same thing on the back same little tow hook on the back. I got the, the trailer hitch. So I got a, a Kurt 4,000 pound class three hitch. Uh, it's really, really good hitch. I like it a lot. And then I ran the wiring. Most people leave the wiring inside the trunk and then just leave it routed outside when they need to use it. But I actually ran the wiring out to the back um, and then put a little plate there so I can mount it. And that way I can just unplug it and plug it. It's always there, no biggie. Let's see. What else? Oh, this little uh, 
decal here. Nice little black decal. It's very subtle, very clean looking. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a vinyl decal, so held up really well. Still, still going. Tires and wheels. All right. So the wheels are Motegi. I think they're called MR 118s really good wheel i love this wheel it's super lightweight super strong i haven't had any issues with it and then the tires are a kenda cleaver and they're 245 65 17 and uh, it fits really good it's a little close on the clearance um on even you know you can see there's like maybe an inch in there uh, but they fit and they fit good and they, they do really good off-road i haven't had any tire rubbing uh, I did have a 275 or two, I had a 225, 75, 17 mud terrain. So they're a skinnier tire, taller tire though. Um, and those did rub um, only when you're like flexing really hard and churning. And it did wear out on those old tires, did rub. But uh, these, this size r works really well. And it's good on road, off road. There's not a lot of noise to them. I really like them. Let's do oh exhaust. So I got an exhaust on this thing. It's from LP Performance, so or LP Adventure. They're a company out in Quebec, Canada. So that's the little badge they give you if you buy any of their products. And it's got an LP exhaust. And I'll show you something here in a second if I can get to it. So this is the exhaust. I don't know if you yeah you guys should be able to see that. Uh, LP Ed, LP Performance, the shoot performance. That's what LP stands for. Now on this exhaust, if you're running a class three hitch, um, this hitch is very, very beefy and you see that plate up there. Uh, essentially the factory exhaust or the, this plate with this exhaust, it will bump on this and you'll hear like a rattling noise. So I used this little uh, fuel hose with a hose clamp and it kind of reduces that so that way it doesn't you know annoy the crap out of you um, but other than that that's it for the back i do want to get some skid plates right now i'm running all the factory plastics skid plates they haven't had any issues i've had i have dragged it and uh nothing's been broken so interior is all the same the only thing i did add to it is this uh this little mat uh, it's really cool because I can hit my dog back here and I don't have to worry about the hairs getting everywhere. They still get everywhere as you can see, but it just kind of helps it. Plus, if I get my max tracks dirty, I can still throw them back there. And then I have um, my air air compressor there and some tool like bike tools, a bike, the hitch, and uh, some straps and stuff. Extra bike parts over there. We're still recording. It's not really like a serious off roader. It's really the to get me to places like this. You know, I had a little Fiat 500, and I love that Fiat. It's super fun to drive, very sporty, but I would have gotten stuck just getting up to here if I didn't have, if I had my Fiat still. So it's, it's really nice to have a vehicle like this. That's really good as a daily driver. It can get me to work on the weekend, and the weekdays. And on the weekends, I can come to places like this, and I still get like 25, 27 miles to the gallon. So <laughs> uh, they'll go into the engine. Engine is a little bit modified, mostly stock. Uh, and I did this for because I had the exhaust. I figured this would be a good supporting mod. And this is the engine. Cold air intake by AFE. So here's the uh, intake system. And then the car emissions and everything. It's a Takeda intake system, AFE power. Uh, it's just got this tube and it uses the factory ducting and then it's got a pod filter inside this so it's really nice uh adds a little bit of noise a little bit better airflow and i have noticed uh lower end rpm is a lot more responsive so um it's a really good intake i highly recommend it. it's a little pricey but it works really well uh then obviously i got the ssd light bar up front which is here and i have the uh these four big led lights and they've been really good. I went, I do like the bioluminescence every now and then. And when you go out to bioluminescence out in the middle of nowhere, because uh, you, you have to be really dark in order to see the, uh, the plankton illuminate, it's very, very dark. And even the factory lighting, 
like just factory headlights it's hard to see so these really illuminate the place um it's funny because i had somebody literally say i was out there one time and literally somebody told me can i just follow you so i can see and it's like yeah go ahead I'll, I'll get in front of you and uh yeah they do a really good job of illuminating everything and then i got the uh optima red top battery you know i have pulling the amps from the lights and this and then i do have a rooftop but i don't have it installed right now but i have a basket on top with lights on that as well uh, for the back and uh, it'll just be nice because i'm pulling a lot of amps so it's good to have a nice solid state battery like this but yeah that's the engine uh let's see what else is left lift lift kit There we go. But the uh, lift kit is a ready race lift kit. Uh, factory springs. And there's a little bit better picture of what's underneath it. And then here's the uh, good old Kenda tire. And there's a little bit of a, how much you can really flex it. It does really good. And you know, obviously Subaru is known for their symmetrical all wheel drive. So, uh, you know, has a lot of grip. It basically simulates locking diffs by uh, applying like brakes on the spinning wheels. So you, you know you can get through situations like this where you're spinning a lot of tire to actually force that spinning tire to stop and give you grip to the one that has grip and then push you through uh, just like it was doing there. Might give you a little bit of hesitation. You might hear that ABS motor going like crazy but you know you just gotta have to trust it and let it do its thing. <laughs> I had a Subaru a few years back. It was a 96 Outback. I loved it. And I sold it and I regretted it ever since. So it's really nice to be back in an Outback. I've had this for three years. I loved every single year, every single mile. I think it's a beast. Before I let you go, I'll try to do like a little exhaust clip. I did bring my helmet with the mic. So hopefully I can get a good sound clip of it in. Thank you so much for watching we are 63 subscribers strong so i do appreciate everything you guys are the best that'd be really dope if you smash that like button it'd be really awesome if you subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one peace wild subaru in its natural habitat i don't want to spook it oh this is this is a sight to see y'all this is a sight to see Oh, 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 oh,